In this video, we'll show you how easy it is to register and protect Microsoft Office 365's Outlook, OneDrive, and SharePoint applications from external and internal threats using SonicWall Cloud App Security. CASA's API-based technology makes protecting Office 365 easy without the need to change things like MX records, so both administrators and end users can enjoy a seamless onboarding experience. There are two prerequisites for the setup process. The first is access to SonicWall Capture Security Center through cloud.sonicwall.com using your MySonicWall credentials. If you don't have a MySonicWall account, you can quickly sign up for one for free. You'll also need administrator level credentials for Office 365 Business or Enterprise. We'll begin by logging into SonicWall Capture Security Center with our MySonicWall credentials. We'll select the specific tenant or group we want Cloud App Security to protect, then select the CAS SAS Security tile which will launch the Cloud App Security onboarding wizard. We'll click Let's Get Started to begin, which takes us to the SaaS selection screen, where we're presented with all the SaaS applications we can protect with CAS. The SaaS applications available to you will be based on the CAS package you've purchased and app availability. You can choose to enable multiple SaaS applications at once or enable a single app and secure different SaaS apps at a later time. We want to protect our Office 365 applications so we'll click the Start button for Outlook. Next, we're prompted to choose between Automatic or Manual Install Mode. Automatic is the default and is a quick, easy way to have CAS make all the necessary configuration changes based on your authorization. You can also see a full description of these changes by clicking the reference link. Manual installation requires strong expertise with Office and Exchange Online Protection and requires that an admin manually perform all configuration changes and create journal rules. We'll choose the automatic option for our installation and click OK. It's important that you read and understand the CAS terms of service during your installation process. Once you're ready, you can click the Accept box and continue with the installation. Step 1 is to authorize the activation of Office 365 event monitoring, which enables the necessary API access and makes the configuration changes necessary to track events in real time within our Office 365 environment. We'll click Continue, which takes us to a Microsoft Authentication screen. CAS always relies on direct authentication through Microsoft and never stores your Microsoft credentials. After entering our credentials, we're presented with the Permissions Authorization window. This is another instance during your own installation when it's important to read and understand the permissions you're authorizing. When you're ready, click the Accept button to authorize monitoring. Step 2 in the installation process is to authorize Office 365 security which enables security protections and enforces policies within our Microsoft 365 environment. We'll click Continue and are once again presented with a Microsoft Authentication screen. Office 365 security requires elevated permissions in order to enable CAS security protections like scanning files, emails, and events, and initiating remediation actions based on your policy configurations. Once again, it's important that you read and understand these permissions before clicking Accept and completing the authorization process. Back in the CAS console, we're presented with the Office 365 Group Selection dialog box. The Groups options dictate how CAS licenses are assigned to your users. All organization assigns CAS licenses to all your users, up to your license user count, while the Specific Group option is the most efficient way to protect a subset of users. You can find more information about how these options affect license assignment in the Cloud App Security Administration Guide. We'll choose the Group option, enter an accessible group email address, and click OK to complete the CAS installation for Office 365. And since we've already completed authorization and app installation for Outlook, we can also enable advanced threat protection for OneDrive and SharePoint with a simple click of two additional buttons. Now that we've finished selecting and setting up our apps, we'll click Next to begin the final stage of installation. Clicking the Start Now button will kick off the initial setup process which can take some time to complete depending on the number of users and volume of stored data. During that time, CAS automatically configures the necessary APIs and journal rules within Office 365. CAS also performs a historical data scan, going back through five days of protected users' emails, implements DLP policies to detect sensitive data sharing, and uploads all OneDrive files to capture advanced threat protection, SonicWall's cloud-based multi-engine sandbox, for a complete scan to detect any latent threats. The CAS dashboards won't display data during the setup process, but you're free to modify policies and use the console while the scans are underway in the background. 
All these processes get kicked off by clicking the Start Now button, so it's that easy to get up and running. Clicking Start also takes us to the CAS dashboard, where we can monitor progress by hovering over the Status Indicator. The Status Indicator will also notify us if the process runs into any errors. As the processes begin to complete, you'll begin to see information like active user counts and the number of scanned emails. Once all the background processes have completed, the Status Indicator will change to a green checkmark and CAS will generate an email to the administrator saying that the onboarding process completed successfully and that the default policy is in effect. And that's it! With just a few easy steps, we're protecting Office 365 with NextGen Security. To learn how cloud app security can help your organization embrace cloud applications without fear, visit sonicwall.com slash CAS. Thank you.